Yes, we have an orbital boat prepared for you at the dock of... At the harbor district. You can board it as soon as you're ready. Got it, thanks, Fran. Sorry again for the sudden request. Ah, don't mention it. What else am I here for, if not to back you up? The wetlands to the south can be dangerous. Promise you'll be extra ah. careful out there. Okay, we will. Sounds like we managed to get our hands on a boat. Yeah, Fran was able to prepare one for us. Oh, I feel like such a heel for getting you all wrapped up in our little troubles. You don't have to put yourselves out for this if you don't want to, though. Pretty sure Arios and the boys will be back in in our tops. Yeah. Time's of the essence. No point sitting around when we can get ourselves there right now. Yeah, and we're done with all the side quests. He's right. There's no telling how dire the situation may already be. Just tell them to catch up to us when they get back to the city. Well, if you say so. Both and Naoli are highly capable bracers right on the verge of achieving A rank. So if they're stuck in a situation where they can't contact us, well, it's not a good sign at all. Adios only knows how nasty things might get down there. You better stay on your toes. We will. Let's depart for the dock as soon as our preparations are complete. Right now. To the dock. Hey dudes, you're the SSS, right? That's us. Sorry for keeping you in the rain like this. Thanks for the preparing a boat for us, especially given the weather. Don't mention it, dude. Why do you spell dude like that? All part of the job. So, any of you dudes know how to operate this thing? If not, I can always come with. I hadn't even thought about that. How hard could it be? It's probably not that different from driving a car. Just, I mean, that's a really, really astute assumption, Randy. I don't think driving a car and <laughs> steering a boat are the exact same thing. But, I mean, they got some similarities, sure, but... I could call the chief on my Enigma if you would like. No, it's okay. I actually have a little bit of experience, seeing, experience conning boats. Of course you do. Conning? Is that what they call it? It figures Noel would know. We, 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 we should have guessed given that it has a steering wheel. I'll knock it off. It's just another thing Commander Bales insisted I learn. So, where are we gonna where are we gonna do? Is it time to board the boat? Let me think. There's no telling what's awaiting for us down there. We should make sure we've taken care of everything before leaving. Yes. Yes. Except for all for the wetlands. Roger that. Alright, off you go, dudes. Be careful out there, okay? And Noel's got it. Well, well, how very serendipitous. I can't help but be reminded of the Schwarz auction. Perhaps they truly are a tie by a string of fate. Be that as it may, Master Sire. What do you suppose awaits them at the south banks of Lake Elm? That I couldn't say, but I'll trust in, in the intuition of our esteemed friend. It could be the demonized delinquent again, the snakes, or perhaps even the church itself. Whatever the case, there's nothing wrong with shining a light on a blind spot when you can. Indeed. Pardon me. What is it, Fan? Why are you so distraught? I'm terribly sorry for interrupting, Master Sayo. We received an urgent report from one of our surveillance teams just a moment ago. An urgent report. Explain, Fan, and spare us no details. The weather's cleared, just as the forecast predicted. Maybe Adios is trying to do us a solid? I'd like to believe that Adios is doing us a solid, because the plot demands it. We'll need all the help we can get, there's no telling what's waiting for us over there. Whatever it is, I'll take it over trudging our way through the rain any day. Don't forget though, there's a chance we could encounter another cryptid, and that's just scratching the surface. Right, we're making our way into uncharted waters, so to speak. Anything can happen. Keep in mind, we don't know when we can count on backup from Arios and them either. For the lead search party, we need to work as quickly as possible to secure Lin Naolia's safety. Depending on how things turn out, we may end up having to call the CGF for backup too. Right. This is definitely a sticky situation. Let's keep up hope the gals are alright. Hold on. Rapid surge and humidity detected. Everyone stay on guard. What? 
Oh, the fog. This fog is so dense. The Persona 4 killer? Where'd they come from? The air seemed so clear just a moment ago. What do we do, Lloyd? Was your speed and approach with caution? Tio, can you sense the shore? Yes, I believe so. But I tell you guys, break yourselves for landfall, everybody. Look at all this. Indeed, and that other boat behind us must be the one Lin Neolia arrived in. This is bad. Things are out of control down here. That's a lot of Azure flowers. I forgot what they called it. This reminds me of the, uh, the Galley's Lake Road from Tales of Berseria. That's what this place reminds me of. Oh, brother, please tell me that fog knocked us out again, and we're just in a bad dream. Honestly, it feels more like something ripped straight out of a fairy tale. This is unbelievable. It's as if the very composition of space here is in conflict with reality itself. How long has the Pleroma grass been running rampant in these wetlands? Could it be? Is this the place Jochum was harvesting his key ingredient for Gnosis from? Once again, your intuition never betrays you, det detective words. Who could have possibly predicted that was Yin? You again? Yin, what are you doing here? Well, I'm going to redirect that question right back at you. I've been following the shadows of those snakes in dem demonization of that gang's leader, as well as the blooming of this azure flora throughout the state and the cryptid's sudden emergence. That led me here and ultimately to all of you. Oh, really? So basically, you decided this place was suspicious all on your own and decided to come check it out. Precisely. Though it would seem the circumstances that brought you here differ from mine, in some respects, isn't that right? You could say that. I'll explain everything I can, withholding information won't do any either of us any good. I see, so that boat there belongs to those bracers then. How intriguing, this can only mean I'm getting close to the heart of the mystery. What mystery? He's referring to why the Pleroma grass has surfaced, the cryptids too, for that matter? Let me guess, you've been trying to get to the bottom of what that bodes for Crossbow in the grand scheme of things. Right, aren't you? This too falls under my contract with Hayui. With that, I'll leave the bracers to you and make my way ahead. Not so fast. How about you accompany us instead, Yin? Lloyd? You can't be serious. I mean, we worked with Yin before. I was at a surprise. Oh, I had a feeling you were going to pull something like this again. As did I. Come on, man. I know you're a softie, but you got to learn how to draw the line somewhere. As interesting as your proposition is, Banning, you seem to be la laboring under a gross misconception. Our respective positions are no longer compatible, nor are our interests in this case. Unlike that time at St. Ursula, cooperating with you now would get me... Nowhere? Is that what you were going to say? Then they only have skills comparable to those of A-rank bracers. I saw it myself when they joined forces. I have no doubt that those two could even rival Arius. If the danger that awaits us was able to overwhelm them, do you actually believe you can handle it by yourself? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hey, you might even be able to get some info out of Lin Neolia. Can't do that unless we find him. That's right, we should cooperate if only for the sake of efficiency. I do believe you're starting to take after your leader, aren't you, members of the SSS? Do you think so? Well, I'd be lying if I denied that. Not that we ever consented to it. Why are you looking at me like it's my fault? All roads lead back to Lloyd, just one of his many charms. Very well then, we shall work together once more, if you say so, if you so desire words. Knowing this, however, if the Divine Blade of Wind catches up with us, I will not hesitate to desert, to desert you. Will that be an issue? Not at all. One problem, though. Moving around with a party of seven is going to get tricky. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with a little friendly fire every time the monsters attacked. Someone could stay behind if that's the case. We do need someone to watch the boat, right? Not a bad idea. Whoever remains could also help bring the Divine Blade of Wind up to speed when he arrives. It's a plan, then. Let's decide our formation. Randy or Tia was going to stay with the boat. 
Still haven't repaid them for that craft they taught me. There's no time to hesitate. We're gonna bring Linnaeolia home. Oh, it's gotta be Wazi or Noel. Screw off, game. Well, I guess Noel then. Bum, bu bum. Alright, Yim, we're definitely gonna use you. We can take out Ellie for a bit. Why not? I don't have dark matter anymore. If I do this, I have it back, though. Sorry, Noel, I would have took you if the game let me left Randy or Tio. I, I take it that Randy or Tio is going to have some relevance in whatever's going to happen here because of that. Hey, go! That's the only thing that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> 68 experience. That was one enemy, though. That wasn't very cash mirror of you. <laughs> okay. Nisa trying to be hip. I can respect it. What the heck? What an enemy design this is. Are you gonna follow me all the way here? You're not. I wanted to get an ambush going. He hold the falling moon. Oh, only arts on the ghost? Yeah, only arts, I guess. I'll probably scan you regardless, but I think it's only arts. Die. Scan you... Well, I can't scan now. Just, just get, um... You know. Ba -ba -bum. Oh my word, Avalon Gate? Galleon Tower? Calm down. Don't even bother. I have Rishia casting. By the way, I just called her Rishia, but who cares? We know it's Rishia. This is basically a better Galleon Tower. Yo, that is sick. A gate opening and then doing a bunch of swords. That's awesome. That is really cool. I can't wait to get that art on, like, another character. Go level 70. Because we're not keeping Yin, but I can't wait to actually get that art. Hey, buddy. I'm desperate for Sepeth right now. So I'm just gonna, like, you know, do a lot of fights. Alright, now I know the ghosts only get hit by arts, so we just use arts. I can't even afford that one, so just normal attack. Yeah, Wazi, you handle this ghost. We don't want to do this because it'll reflect. Ebony shoes, lower speed. Wazi. You open the chest inside, there's a tiny palm. It would wave, but it has no arms. Ha 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 ha. 
Ooh, ambush, ambush, ambush opportunity. Gather around. Gather around, come on. Are you kidding me? That wasn't an ambush. Give me the... I want the... Okay. The game is not going to give it to me. I, that was not a back attack. I was just like... There we go. I should not have taken that long. Alright. Well, you have a crit. Do this. We're not going to use the team rush. Oh, nice confusion. You're going to do dark matter. You're going to do this. And Tia was going to cancel this team rush. Let's go. I was going to I was going to look at your master quartz. I want to do that. I'm curious what master quartz Rishia has. Hello. So you're gonna need DP charge after this. Dude, this part of the battle theme, the piano, oh, it's so good. I talked about how I used to. I said the Zero battle theme was better when I first played Azure, but I really. The Azure one grows on me a lot. I probably still like the Zero one more, but the Azure one has really grown on me. The gap is a lot smaller for how much more I like the Zero default battle music as opposed to the Azure one. Death blow. Nice. Not that I really needed it. Alright, how much we get in here? 2.25 times. 500. Really good. Getting ever closer to 71. Oh, what's your, uh, let me see your Master Quartz. What is it? It's Phantom. Sick. Why does this, this is because it's a map area, but... The most mind-boggling... There, there's a lot of... Trails has a lot of questionable design decisions. One of the most mind-boggling things is mini-maps. They put mini-maps in, like, field areas. Anywhere that's not, like, a cave or, like, a dungeon, they don't put a mini-map. Which is just weird. It should be you have a mini-map or you don't have one at all. Don't make it where you have mini-maps in, like, half the areas but not the other half. Maybe there can be, like, an exception, like, one dungeon. I know, like, um, what's an example? Star Ocean. Star Ocean 5 doesn't have a map for- or Star Ocean 3. Star Ocean 3 doesn't have a map for, um, one of its dungeons. And I think Star Ocean 5 also doesn't have a map for one of its dungeons. Like, a mini-map? The mini-map does not work. But other than that, 90% of the areas in those games have mini-maps. So I'm just kind of like, why is Trails this weird 50-50, basically? Like, they don't even, like, they don't even give, like, a story reason for, like, oh, we have no reception or whatever. It's just, like, yeah, no mini-maps for caves for some reason. It's really weird. Trails in the Sky barely. Trails in the Sky is more of an excuse because it was made in, like, 2004, apparently. I didn't know Trails in the Sky was that old, but apparently it was made in 2004. So it has a bit more of an excuse. 
But by Zero and Azure, they should have realized we should just put mini maps in for everything. 